purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to solve elapsed time problems. And what that means is that from one time to another time later on, how much time went by? How much time did it take us to get from one time to the other? So if you're solving these problems for my Google Classroom, you'll need to go to Gromley Math in Google Classroom. And then you'll want to go to Classwork because that's where you'll find all of your assignments. It'll look like this. You'll find all of your assignments for this week under this week's title. And then here you'll find videos showing how to solve elapsed time problems, which will include this video and many others. And then here is the assignment where you're going to solve elapsed time problems. So here is where you're going to submit those answers. And here is the interactive clock that I am going to use to de illustrate how that time moves. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to have a split screen so you can see my work on one side of the screen and the clock on the other. If you were doing this, you probably wouldn't have a split screen. You would probably have the clock up on your computer and this work here on a piece of paper in front of you. So I want you to imagine that it's 22 minutes after three and you're feeling kind of hungry. And you're like, okay, well I know this, that dinner is at 6.15. So how long do I have to wait? How long will it take me to get from now, which is 3.22 to 6.15 when dinner is? Well, here's how you're going to solve for that. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to make the clock say our start time, which is 322. So I'm going to put my hour hand on the three, because it's the third hour. And I'm going to put my minute hand on the second minute. One, two minutes. I'm sorry, on the 22nd minute. So that's 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So now I've got my hour hand at the three and my minute hand at the 22. My clock is set. Now how am I gonna get from here to a number that's pretty easy to count from? Well, we could sit here and go one minute to 323, two minutes to 324, three minutes to 325, but my goodness, that's going to take forever to get to 615. So let's do something easier. Let's try counting by fives. But I can't count by fives from 322, not easily anyway. What's going to be the next time that I can easily count by fives from? It's 25. So if I want to get to 325, I'm going to need to add some minutes. Let's see how many minutes it's going to take. One, two, three. 322 plus three minutes is going to be 325. Now I can count by fives. Let's get us to the next hour. When I say the next hour, I always mean when the minute hand is pointed towards the 12, which is zero minutes. So it's, we're going to count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It's going to take us 35 minutes to get from 325 to the next hour, which is 4 o'clock. 35 minutes, 4 o'clock. Now I want to get to the nearest hour to 6.15. So the nearest hour is going to be 6 o'clock. So how am I going to get to 6 o'clock? Let's add one hour. One. Now it's 5 o'clock. Let's add another hour. Two. Now it's 2 o'clock. Sorry, now it's 2 hours and it's 6 o'clock. So if I add two hours, I get to six o'clock. Well, I'm not quite there yet. There's still a few minutes till dinner. How many minutes? Let's see. Five, 10, 15. If I bring my, my minute hand here, it's now 615. And it took me 15 minutes to get there. So I'm going to add 15 minutes 
and now it's 615. So how many minutes did I have to add to get to 615? Well, let's ignore the, the hours for a second. We're just gonna put those right there off to the side. We know it took two hours, but how many minutes did it take? Two hours and how many minutes? Well, first we added thir three minutes, then we added 35 minutes, then we added 15 minutes. So let's line those up so that we can add them. So three minutes plus five minutes plus five minutes would be three, then eight, 13 minutes. Now I've got to carry my one. And one plus three is four plus one is five. So the total is 53 minutes I had to add along with those two hours. So I added two hours and 53 minutes to, to get from 322 to 615. And so that is how much elapsed time went by. Two hours and 53 minutes. Now I'm gonna go back and check my work. I'm gonna go back and put the hour hand back on the three and put the minute hand back on the 22. And I'm gonna add two hours and then I'm gonna add 53 minutes. So it's 302. One hour, 322, now one hour goes by and now it's 422. Two hours goes by and now it's 522. All right, well, if I go another hour, it'll be too far. So two hours is good. We did two hours, it's 522. Now let's add 53 minutes. Let's start with the three minutes to get us to an increment of five. One, two, three minutes. So now I've just got 50 minutes left to add. Five, mm. five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I added two hours, then three minutes, then 50 minutes, and it got me to 615. So I know that this answer is correct. All right, if you have any questions, remember you can always email me at jgromley at hampton.k12.va.us. Thank you very much.